Over the past month, I've been hearing noises in the wall at night and suspected there may be a mouse or something like that in there. One night, my neighbor saw a raccoon come down from the roof, and I really didn't think that was causing the noise, but I decided to take my drone and do some inspection. I found that our chimney was wide open. I took my old phone and attached it to a rod and looked up the fireplace to see if anything was up there. Thankfully, I could see all the way to daylight, and there was no evidence of any animals. Although there were two holes up there, so I needed to see which hole was which. I dropped a ball attached to a string down and found, okay, that was the left hole. I needed to see what was on the other side, so I made a contraption out of my old phone case. I tied four strings to it to stabilize it and put it on a 16-foot rod. I dropped the phone um, down the chimney uh, kind of very carefully, uh, not knowing what I would find but slowly was lowering it down there. I actually did this a couple times. Um, once I went maybe 10 feet down, and then 20 feet down, brought it back up, didn't see anything, but I really needed to go all the way to the, to the bottom to see what was there. Um, as I'm going down, I'm thinking, I really hope I get my phone back and I hope it doesn't get it stuck. Um, as you can see in this video, all of a sudden you see this eye, and then as we get closer, Oh shit, there's some raccoons. Not only is there a mom raccoon, but there are babies. I think I see three of them, but it's hard to tell from the video. So, they're down there for a little bit. I think the mom actually grabs onto the camera for a second. Um, at this point, I'm on the roof. I'm trying to bring the phone back up. Uh, it does get caught, and I thought I was going to lose my phone for a second felt like a snag on the end of a fishing pole. So I'm trying to move it around uh, and dislodge it. Um, thankfully, you know, it, it comes out and I, I pull it all the way to the top. At this point, I really don't know what's on the camera. I'm just like super happy that I get it back. Um, I'm actually standing on the roof. I watch the video, see the raccoons, drop my phone, scream, and literally jump well, back through the bedroom honest, window. This side of the chimney is for the old coal burning fireplace and it's a dead end. I tried to listen to them with my stethoscope. I set some cameras up on the roof and sure enough, every night uh, around 9.30 or 10 o'clock, the mom would come down, she'd go across the roof uh, and then she would come back every morning around 5.30. This would happen pretty much like clockwork. We really needed to come up with a plan to get not only the mom but the babies out of the chimney. After a lot of reading, what I decided was to ratchet strap a ladder to the back of the chimney, uh, get something to irritate them, and hopefully scare them out. I got some wiffle balls, filled them with urine to try to get them out. Unfortunately, this just pissed the mom off and she'd come out every night and look at us. Critter Ritter is the next thing we tried. This stuff worked great. Put it down, mom came out super early that day, still in daylight to look at us. My neighbors were in the backyard, one of them was wearing a raccoon hat. Uh, unfortunately, the raccoons came up and went down the other side of the chimney for the fireplace. So I tried to use smoke bombs to get them out. Uh, Mom ended up just leaving herself. I felt pretty defeated and I was worried that, you know, maybe the babies were just going to be left in there. Thankfully, a few hours later, Mom returned to the roof. I figured she was coming back to get her babies and she was kind of apprehensive at first. She sniffed the camera, took her time, but sure enough, uh, she went right back up the chimney and came back with one baby actually in her mouth. It was a pretty interesting uh, sight to see. It, this whole process of her getting the baby, she got them one by one. It took about three hours and they were very loud. Uh, my wife and I didn't get a whole lot of sleep because the chimney is right by our bed. We just heard them kind of chirping all night, but I was still, you know, very excited that they came back and she got the babies and everybody seemed to be, seemed to be safe. So at this point, you know, we were, we almost won the battle. We just had to put a chimney cap on the roof next. So I bought the chimney cap. Uh, it said, you know, to install it by professional. So obviously the next thing I did was get on the roof myself with my neighbor and we put the chimney cap on. Uh, it was actually pretty easy and now we are rodent free.